And we are all rolling on, Beach City fans. Lily, back at you live from day two of Texas Global Summit 2019. I just ran into this super rad lady. I'm so excited to share her story with you. Um, here with Kitty, who's uh, with the Highland Network. How are you doing today? Um, I'm good. I am was super excited that, that the came down has just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm okay now, but like getting up on stage today was... Crap, that was like the biggest um, audience I had. <laughs> wow, well I think people are really excited to, to sort of learn, right? Because you're a mover and a shaker here, creating something very new and exciting in Thailand. So can you tell our audience a little bit more about that? Um, I work for the legalization of cannabis in Thailand and um, we do it in a way that we trying to share knowledge and educate the public because yeah. we want them to make their own decision and also we're trying to influence the whole tech space in right. terms of cannabis as well because everyone's just kind of fixated on growing, cultivating, mm. which at the end of the day, that may not be where we actually want to go. Okay, okay. So we were talking about this a little bit beforehand, right? And so we're, you're looking at um, uh, cannabis also from the sort of like the public health perspective, right? And sort of educating people and coming in and providing like resources and knowledge so that the public can make informed decisions. You're working with other kinds of stakeholders as well to sort of create a healthy ecosystem yeah. around this industry. Yeah. Right? Because like it needs to be fair. Yeah. There needs to be an equilibrium between the government businesses as well as the public right. um, in terms of quality, regulation, as well as profitability. Mm -hmm. Because sure. everyone needs to be in there all together because without all those players into mm -hmm. it, nothing's going to happen. Okay. And everyone needs to work together as a community, work towards what is best for the society as well. Yeah. So obviously, you know, I think it's very innovative for Thailand to be making a move into this, but where does the tech part come in? Tell us a bit about Ooh. that. That's, that's, that's where the ocean starts for opportunity because there's so many problems within the cannabis industry okay. right now, yeah. like the global uh, market that's existing, mm -hmm. um, the non-existing yet for mm -hmm. Thailand. We are legal, but only in theory. So meaning right. on piece of paper, yes, you are. But whether you're going to do anything about that legality, no freaking chance yet. Okay. Okay. So baby steps, but um, in terms of tech, yeah. Um, there's no limita limitation in terms of where it can go. Okay. Um, there's no licensing, there's no single convention um, controlling the substance. Okay. So this is where it's going to get really fun. Like um, every part of tech can get involved. Okay. Like blockchain, deep tech, all the way through to just as simple as uh, where's my weed software. Okay. Hey. So, so we're talking like agri-tech, you know, going from the farming side, maybe blockchain is that, I'm assuming we're applying that maybe like to the supply chain, uh, yeah, and the as well as like the, sale, okay. um, as well as um, like e-commerce, mm -hmm. that is regulated by the law right, as well, right. so like um, a system can be written and right. set up from the very beginning mm -hmm. with law in mind, and then yeah. what stops it from being used? So like all of those things are still there and um, we haven't even gone into like the whole um, packaging or um, mm. other processing pots. Right. Modernizing um, the industry. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> um, and in itself, it's not just the tech part as well. Mm -hmm. Existing industry can look into cannabis and expansion as well. Okay. Because like um, with say expos in um, America where it's actually legal, um, what happened is the people that are selling glass jars okay. are making a lot of money right now within the cannabis industry okay. because that is a requirement in having in the dispensary. So right. who would have thought glass jars gonna be like grow into the cannabis industry? All right. Yeah. So what I'm hearing here is that you are really thinking about the bigger picture, right? Yeah. And uh, I think uh, I literally just like got chills as you were talking just now. Maybe it's because like the aircon is whacked out. But so so uh, with uh, with with cannabis, right? A lot of people have this fear. Uh, people want to regulate it because they're worried that it's going to be something that harms people. What I'm hearing here is that we can actually use technology to address those issues and design the system to be safe, to be transparent, to be verifiable, to be trustworthy, like from the outset to create that. So it's not something that has to be scary. It's something exactly. that can be safe for the consumer. Mm -hmm. 
All that's right. that's pretty much it. You summed it up quite well. We <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So you know, just to, before we wrap up, I would love to know a little bit more about like your background. How did you get into this like work of advocating for this industry? My mom kind of kicked me into it. This okay. Um, like she's been sharing like um, for like over three years. Like mm-hmm. before I got into it, she just go, "Kitty, this weepreneur thing, you really need to get into." Uh-huh. And I'm like, "Mom, it's illegal." <laughs> so she just kind of went, make it legal. Mom. So like, I good just kind of, okay, fine, I'll make yeah. it legal. And here I am. <laughs> That's like genuinely like pretty amazing to see like how quickly this has, I mean, quickly to my mind to be moving. I usually think of Thailand as sometimes being very conserved in these areas. When someone first told me that like, like they're considering legalizing yeah. it, I was like, no way. And then like two years after the first time I heard about this, we are like, we're sitting people down. We're training the first like round of people who are going to be at the front line of like setting off this industry, right? But um, to tell the truth, yes, we're still actually a very conservative mm-hmm. country. And the law in terms of um, regulation of cannabis, okay. it still have a very um, stigma uh, right. mentality in mind. Yeah. So. We still need to really educate um, those that are doing the policies into, you know, like realize that, guys, I understand that it gets you high, uh-huh. but at the same time, who said that, like, you know, it's just a side effect of a drug. Right. It's like if you're taking antidepressant and they say you need to go to sleep, you should go to sleep. Right. It's same deal. But yeah, the, the, they're still stuck on the word high. Mm-hmm. And they and because of that is um, we're gonna be kind of overregulated. Okay. But at least at the beginning, and hopefully people would get a little bit smarter. Cool. So there's still work to do, but we're very excited, and the tech applications are manifold. Yes. All right. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today at Beach City Kitty. Thank you for being here. Yeah. So stay tuned. We've got more amazing stories, lots of innovation and uh, action happening here at Texas Global Summit, uh, sponsored by our partners at True Digital Park.